Can I help you with anything else? Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? A problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. A word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just Keep walking. <clears throat> I don't like doing business with Azora's faithful. Make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> 